Good Friday morning, First Church. We are going to have to quit meeting like this. Seriously, I am glad to be with you once again. This is Carolee Owens, your Minister of Music, bringing you a short message on the piece, Be Thou My Vision, the great hymn from the 8th century. Isn't it fascinating we are singing a hymn that was written 13 centuries ago? Imagine the millions of worshipers who have gone before us, singing the same song and feeling the same peace and comfort it brings us. Something I try to do when singing these generational hymns is to imagine I am singing with those who have gone before me. Just picture your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and you all singing together and praising God. There is no sweeter sound. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Only one missionary is honored with a global holiday and only one is known by his own distinct color of green. St. Patrick, of course, missionary to Ireland. Patrick was born in A.D. 373 along the banks of the River Clyde in what is now called Scotland. His father was a deacon and his grandfather a priest. When Patrick was about 16, raiders descended on his little town and torched his home. When one of the pirates spotted him in the bushes, he was seized, hauled aboard ship, and taken to Ireland as a slave. There he gave his life to the Lord Jesus. The Lord opened my mind to an awareness of my unbelief, he later wrote, in order that I might remember my transgressions and turn with all my heart to the Lord my God. Patrick eventually escaped and returned home. His overjoyed family begged him to never leave again. But one night, in a dream reminiscent of Paul's vision of the Macedonian man in Acts 16, Patrick saw an Irishman pleading with him to come and evangelize Ireland. It wasn't an easy decision, but Patrick, about 30, returned to his former captors with only one book, the Latin Bible, in his hand. As he evangelized the countryside, Multitudes came to listen. The superstitious Druids opposed him and sought his death. But his preaching was powerful, and Patrick became one of the most fruitful evangelists of all time, planting about 200 churches and baptizing 100,000 converts. His work endured, and several centuries later, the Irish church was still producing hymns, prayers, sermons, and songs of worship. In the, 18th, in the 8th century, an unknown poet wrote a prayer asking God to be his vision, his wisdom, and his best thought by day or night. In 1905, Mary Elizabeth Byrne, a scholar in Dublin, Ireland, translated this ancient Irish poem into English. Another scholar, Eleanor Hull of Manchester, England, took Byrne's translation and crafted it into verses with rhyme and meter. Shortly thereafter, it was set to a, to a traditional Irish folk song, Slain, named for an area in Ireland where Patrick reportedly challenged local druids with the gospel. It is one of our oldest and most moving hymns. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Naught be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence, my light. Please pray with me. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us with the words and the music you inspired our forefathers to create. This music has connected generations of Christians through music. Thank you for the modern day hymn writers, such as the Irish composers, Keith and Kristen Getty, who are inspiring us with new hymns that bless us and will continue to bless future generations. Please continue to guide, teach, and inspire us as we share your love through words and music. In Jesus' most holy name, amen. And now please enjoy Ted House's rendition of Be Thou My Vision.
be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, and I thy true Son. Thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. Riches I heed not, nor man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and thou only, first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure thou art. O oh Lord, be my vision, O oh Lord, be my light. Shine down the light of heaven, breaking through my darkest night. O oh Lord, be my vision, O oh Lord, be my light. Shine down the light of heaven, breaking through my darkest night. High King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, shall be my vision, O ruler of all. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Be my vision.